Got the world saying who's that? The illest and prove that. Pull up your bootstraps. Try walking in my shoes. Even when I felt useless, I spit the most ruthless. We fighting like ruthless. You fall in my foot. And when I'm down, I fight hardest. So I go the farthest. The most honest artist. Try walking in my shoes. Murder you is my new twist. You grabbing your crucifix. Can't walk in my foot. You fall down Yo, in my foot. I keep a permanent screw face. These cowards is too fake. Hanging you by your shoelace. I have your neck in the blue brace. Your spine in the metal plate. Your limbs in the suitcase. I diss the bitches that you chase I move at a new pace Squeeze ain't like the toothpaste You move units, but who's taste? They say that I'm too crazy The real Bobby Boucher You only got a few days To guard your grill and pay. I'm the hero that you praise I got dangerous ways I have you licking Kool-Aid Floating in the pool dead You in the bed that you made Where's that gangster you played? I can't even tell you who's safe I make niggas lose faith I make niggas lose teeth They choose fate Welcome to XGWL Charts, episode number 83, and we're here live in South Philly, here at the Wells Fargo Center, home of the NBA 7, Philadelphia 76ers. Welcome, amigos. I am Hector Diaz, and here with Joshua, bringing you another great episode of XGWL Charged. Hold it. I'm changing my name this week. I'm Mr. Wells Fargo. Oh, how, how are you going to call yourself Mr. Wells Fargo? Are you, are, are you now a corporate criminal bankster now? Yep. Yeah, right. Give me my money. I'm just playing, guys. Anyway, let's get to our opening contest here as Jade Kim will be going one on one against Obsidian. As the. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you would be doing that. Yeah, I know you, yeah, have, yeah. you have a crush on Jade Kim. Oh, yeah, you know it. Haven't you seen me flirt and move her in the back? Yeah, right. I, I think she snapped the taste out of your mouth. Yeah, I know you have a thing for Asians. We had to look she did. We were unfortunate. So, our opening contest here is... Has that's right. Jade Kim and Nick... and that's like... Jade Kim and Nikki Cornejo are set to defend their women's tag team titles against Obsidian and Kendall Lewis, but... Right now, this one-on-one -on -one contest. Little momentum to be going on. I see their obsidian. Doesn't speak very often. So, you said this is Kendall Lewis? No, it's obsidian. From Brazil. A very MMA-trained mixed martial arts. Is very deadly with the strikes. You do not want to mess with her. And we have a great show. I mean, this Are we back? I mean, this show going on. I mean, four titles on the line as John Pryor is set to defend his pure title against Brandon Thomas. Cash Money Inc., the new tag team champions, will defend their titles against Tracy and Apollo. Also, Warfield and Moonlight will in the rematch from In the House 5 and the main event. Magnum will be defending his XGW Ultimate title against AJ Cool. Yeah, the leader of the Anarchists is set to challenge Magnum for the title. As we, as we get this match started, wow, just working on the arm there of Jade Kim. Couple of kicks there. Oh man. And here we go. Now, Jade Kim. Oh, applying a full Nelson, but that's not gonna work. Yeah, so, so how do you think your girlfriend's gonna do here? <laughs> oh wait, she's not your girlfriend. She slapped you, so she's not interested in you. <laughs> Hope those kicks there. And now, Obsidian just applying that armbar on Jade Kim. I know both of these teams, both of their respective teams, will be going after. Facing off that painful for well, the women's tag team tells him, What a roundhouse kick there by Jade Kim. Now a couple of forearm shots and slaps. And now Obsidian with a go behind. Just working on that arm of Jade Kim. And just, you know, both these women are hot. Oh. 
I don't know if you want to say that to Obsidian, because I don't think she would understand a word you're saying, because she, she speaks Portuguese, so... I don't think oh, she, she speaks Portuguese, huh? She doesn't speak English, and I don't think she would... Even if she could understand what you're saying, I think she would she would throw you a couple of punches and kicks and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's por there's Portuguese for dummies out there now. <laughs> I don't know about I'm that. pretty sure I can buy, buy tapes and learn. Regardless of what you said. Anyways, back to the match here. As, as I'm saying, just working on the leg there of Jade Kim. Apparently, you think I'm undateable. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like. Oh, a couple of elbows there by Jade Kim. Maybe. I'm sorry? Hector, the smooth moves, uh, Diaz. I, I didn't say it was smooth moves, as he called me. I mean, I, I just have a wife at home and. And yeah, I'm sure you do. As they say, come on and be my Barbie doll. Your wife. Whoa. I don't say that to my wife. But that's. I'm sure you don't. Uh, well, let's get back to the match. You're interrupting the match anyways. Well, hold on, that's you, a nice arm ringer there by Obsidian. I mean, I don't know why you keep going off topic here and out. Nice combination there from that backbreaker into... Hector. That's into, why the fans love me. <laughs> really now. And, oh, backbreaker in, into another side rush of the leg sweep. That is well, a, that's why they call me People's Magazine Man of the Year. <laughs> oh, wait. Are you Ben Bernanke now? Oh, nice side rush of the leg sweep. I have counter. no idea who that is, but sure. You need to be on your politics and... and Monetary policies and yeah, yeah, your dirty politics, huh? Like Wait. your Washington D.C. debacle. Wait, that's Wait. not my debacle. That is their debacle. Oh, what an arm drag there by yeah. Jade Kim. How oh, much your donkey nonsense? <laughs> hey, have... that's a nice swinging head scissors there. Yes, it was. And Jade Kim yes. looking to be in yes, control of the match. You she know. decided to swing around the. Never mind. You got no chance with Jade Kim. <laughs> Anyways, I, I Irish went to the corner, and I'll kick there, knocking. So, uh, down. what's with the pink on the Jade Kim? Well, that's her. That's her tattoo on on her on her oblique there and her arm. I mean, she also has a. Well, it's it's true. She has her guts tattooed on her body. Oh. Um. Okay, and oh, what a kick there by Obsidian on the back of the head, and now... Sitting with a nice kick, though. And now going with a modified camel clutch. Set you know, it's her... always nice to see a woman do a camel clutch, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I... <laughs> I don't think we needed to go there. Hey, I wasn't being perverted. <laughs> it sounded like it. Uh... Nor was I being racist, as you call it. Thankfully not, because I know there aren't any Middle Eastern wrestlers here in XGW all. Otherwise, you'd be in big trouble. Anyways, and now, I'm what's sure. Obsidian I'm doing? Sure I think she's going for, for the Obsidian driver and picking her up and... Oh, man, just driving her down to the to the canvas. Good Lord. This has got to be it. The cover. Uh, two, One, three. two. Oh, almost a three count there. Wow. You know what? This is actually the first time that me and you are in sync on our commentary. And oh. we're actually agreeing on stuff. That's odd, if you ask me. You must be drunk or high or something. I mean, wait, yeah. wait, wait. That I is odd. I don't drink too often. I drink maybe one, every once in a while. And, and I don't smoke, so. So you don't smoke, huh? No. No. Oh. And now, anyways, back to the match. A nice side rush and leg sweep there by Jade Kim. Mm -hmm. Going with the Senton. I'm really enjoying this match, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, I'm sure you are. With... And, oh, I need, and I, oh, see, I, and I need to see there, both hands oh, where I, I can see them. At home. I can't enjoy this match. Oh, my God. And now the cover. One, two. That's Great. it. Yeah. Uno Spos Trace is all I'm going to say. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I'll tell you Thank that. You. I'll tell you that right now, though. As we take some of the highlights, a nice Enziguri kick there by 
Obsidian, and then this Obsidian driver, and I thought this was going to end the match. You see they're going to slam it. Hey, man, he fans behind me. Oh, yeah, what? But J. Kim was able to kick out of that. And J. Kim tried to not a comeback, and what, this arm drag counter, and Sidney was able to get the three. Yep, she was able to get the three there. Hector, do you have any popcorn for these three plays? No, why, why would you want popcorn? Well, I mean, I'm enjoying these three plays so much, I, I kind of need popcorn to go with it. I thought you would ask me for some Vaseline. <laughs> oh, 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 I see what it is. You're saying I'm the least fascinated because I'm over here doing my business on it. I, I see, I understand. I yeah. thought we wasn't going to go there, but we well, went there. Anyways, well, well, let's go back say that. Oh, Tammy has an interview set up right now. Before you I blow your you load, anyway. up with that interviewer she's shorter than Tammy is it's almost like an etch-a-sketch you can shake it up and we start all over again this is an etch-a-sketch an etch-a-sketch how many of you ever used an etch-a-sketch how's your etching and sketching you shake it up like an etch-a-sketch shake like an etch and sketch where's my etch-a-sketch at do you have an etch-a-sketch we're talking about big things here folks And folks, we are back. Hector Diaz and Joshua here. And back after Hector finished playing up. As he, yes, and as you were so rudely interrupting me, I was going to say that our next match is going to be for the XTWL Pure Championship as John Pryor will be defending his title. I didn't really interrupt anything. See, you just interrupted me again. Anyways, the next match, XTWL Pure title as John Pryor set to defend it against Brandon Thomas. Anyway. And speaking of Brandon Thomas, here he is on the way to the ring. He's a man himself, Brandon Thomas. Well, he's been here in XCWL since day one. He's also been in, in ACW. Former well, I call him the Afro Yeah. He's Afro Boy. He's Afro and no, I'm not being racist. No, hailing from Hotlanta, Georgia, Atlanta, five foot eleven, one hundred and eighty-six pounds. I'm self have never been to Atlanta, Georgia. A town. Outside of doing the wrestling events, of course. Anyway, I thought it was just some personal vacation. Yeah. Former ACW Spade Champion, the number one half of the ACW Tag Team Champion. Mm -hmm. Now here comes the champ representing the Anarchist. Here comes John. Hey, you should give this man more respect. Why? He's a great champion. How is he a great champion? He's he's supposed to be a quote main inventor and he's and he has the pure title. John Oh, well, what does that the say? Tire is the man. You should give him respect. Yeah, I know he's at man respect. I know he's a former XCW Pro and XCW Ultimate Champion. In fact, look here, I'm over here clapping. Yes, I know you're clapping for your man right there. Well, that's right. You should give him more respect than you do. Yeah, one of the representing the anarchists trying to dominate XCW by Rick Acid, also from the anarchists, the Pro Champion. Yeah, 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 I know Ashley was trying to get on the spot. Uh, um, there you go again, and he's not even on, on the card. And he had to, Thank God. And he had to, Everybody gets sick of seeing it. And you have to throw that in there. 
Anyway, let's get this match started here. Nice form shot there by Brandon Thomas. I mean, this could be a real big opportunity if we could, if we could beat John Pryor, because not only will he win the, the XGW... He would like that, wouldn't he? He would like Brandon Thomas to beat John Pryor. Hey, look, he's been here at XGW since day one, and he's, and he's never won a, a That's title what you keep here saying, at XGWL. But... He's never won... Brandon... A... He would just love to see Thomas knock John Pryor down a peg. I mean, it would be a great opportunity because now I don't he, care if he's never won a title or not. I, I mean, mean, it would be a great opportunity, yeah, but that is if he can manage to beat John Pryor. Yeah. That, that's all I'm going to say. But what I'm trying to say is that not only can, if he can, oh wait, here comes, what the, what's Chris Klein doing? Now see, we got a proper run in. You're not saying anything about that. Oh. Well, I see. That's what I said. Calvin Klein's out here trying to help him out. Is that Calvin Klein? Chris Klein, what a rock, what a kick there by Brandon Thomas. And I, I don't know why he's out here, but right. But the, but this distraction. I do. Oh wait, because Brandon Thomas doesn't need to be in. Oh, the hot ladder drop. We don't see that too often. And John Pryor getting back up. Let me see if I can start a chant here. Let's go, Briar. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, right. Nope. Yeah. I think only the fans over, way over the cheap seats who are, who are like the pro heel fans would be cheering for John Pryor right now. Well, I've got a lot of fans out here. So I have to do that. I can get some John Pryor some help. And now, oh, what a face plant there by John Pryor. I mean, I'm not... Not taking anything away from John Pryor, he's one of the best towns here in XGW. I mean, as you were interrupting me so many That's times. Right. Don't you forget it. I mean, I was saying like if if Brandon Thomas can win here, not only would he win the pure title, he'll be like one of the best here in XGW who's who's been the ultimate well, champion. Well, yeah, but don't you forget that John Pryor is the man. <laughs> yeah, you said that already like five yeah. times, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Irish whip. And I can't stress it enough. Anyways, and now, rake of the eyes. No surprises, really. Knife edge chop there. Kick to the midsection. And now, Irish whip to the ropes. And. Oh, That's wow! Just, like, just got a stretch. What a T bone suplex there by John Why Pryor. Does that beat their... yes. All right, Hector, I got a question. Yeah. Why doesn't John Bryant throw uh, Brandon Thomas on the outside so Chris Klein can beat the crap out of him? Because you know why Chris Klein is out here. I know it as well as you know it. Because he's trying to run interference so he can get on the anarchist's good side. He's not trying to run. Why? Well, haven't you heard, been hearing what John Pryor has been saying about Chris Klein? He's been down. He's been marginalizing Chris Klein. For a good yeah, yeah, but it's all bullcrap on the lines. For a good amount of time, he's been marginalizing him, like, like the list of would be contenders for that pure title. He didn't, he didn't even mention his name on there. And I know that Chris Klein will be a good pure champion. I know he's, he should be next in line to, to go after that XGW pure title. Now, well, Brandon Thomas, oh, he got him all the time. Springboard, cross body. Nicely executed by Brandon Thomas. He's got to capitalize here, and John Pryor well, taking look, advantage. From week to week. Right, from week to week, I make fun of you, but, you know, whatever. Now, running elbow there. I mean, I can take all this thing of you talking smack about me, but well, we got to... Like, well, I'm just trying to be a professional here, trying to call this match. Well, well as now, that fan just said, another face be plant. jealous. You heard me. You be jealous. That, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, he says, and now Irish whip there, sending Brandon Thomas to the corner. Chris Klein still on the outside here. You be jealous of John Pearce's success. And look, like I said, like I've told you many times, oh, what a backbreaker. Like I said, told you many times, I'm just a commentator here. And now Bulldog there by Brandon Thomas. Uh -huh. That's what you took me many times. And now, oh, what a German suplex there by your boy John Pryor. That's true. That's right. So let me ask you, should John Pryor be the leader of the anarchists? Of course. <laughs> He's got leadership skills. Huh. I wonder how AJ Cool will, will, 
would take this? Well, I'm not actually affiliated with the anarchists, but I've been trying to be. What a belly to belly throw by John Pryor. And the strength, I mean, and the comparison. Well, okay, Hector, let me ask you this. What's the chances of me getting an anarchist? I don't think this is going to be a very good one. I think that that AJ Cool told me that if someone else wanted to join the anarchists, they would have to be initiated. And uh, look, well, I don't mind being initiated. I, I don't know what that means, but but well, he told me something about a jump in or something. Well, it's like this. Oh wait, roll up. Great manager. roll up the cover. One, two, and, and almost, almost a three count later. Wow, I'm impressed. And and now John Pryor. Oh, another German suplex. You're impressed that I actually call something right. No, I'm impressed of that German suplex with great execution and with authority. Oh, see, Hector, I thought you were that. So impressed with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't, don't flatter hey, yourself. I've been improving since Tony hired me. That's all I'm saying. The cover. Almost a one. Oh, what a roundhouse kick right there by John Pryor. And those. Working on the leg, trying to slow him down a bit. It's kind of, it's a very Tony hiring me was a great thing for the... And Hector won't argue with me on it, because he knows it's true. What a, what a spinning heel kick there by Brandon Thomas. As we can continue on to this match. And now, oh, nice arm drag. Good technical ability there by John Pryor. Just a... So, Hector. Yeah. You really think we're into... Thomas could win this match. Well, you know what what they've said many times, anything can happen in the World CAW. Yeah, that's true. So, what do you think of my managerial skills? I mean, do you think that could happen? You should stick to your day job. Just like I'm sticking to mine. And now, oh, another great crossbody there by Brandon Thomas. Uh, make him fun of you. And now... Nice European uppercut. You don't like oh, you with me very well, do you? Oh, wait, roll up! The Maybe. cover! Oh, wow. Anyways, nice sweep of the leg right there by B. Thomas and out. John Pryor. So, oh, wow. Chris Clark isn't going to do anything. Why doesn't he just go... I don't know. Maybe he's waiting for his opportunity here to... Well, we'll see what happens. And another running elbow by... By John Pryor, now the cover, and now referee gotta make the cover, and, and there's well, there's Chris right there, Klein. The referee, look, the referee is distracted. Oh, and that that could have been a 100 count right there. He did. He and John Pryor ejected him. And Brandon Thomas kicked out. Now go behind it now. Oh, what a drop kick! And oh, roll up the roll up. Well, let's be all. And referee's still arguing with Look, Chris Klein. Hector, Chris Klein is out here to run interference. Like I said before. I mean, I already knew that part because he's just going around just waiting for his opportunity. Take your boy Chris Klein now. What I mean, I don't blame him, to be honest, because how, how much John Pryor has marginalized his ability and Another belly-to-belly -belly throw there by John Pryor. And now, oh, what an arm track by Brandon Thomas. Yeah. Well, Brandon, Tom Brandon Thomas ain't got a snowball's chance in their mind to win this match. Well, we'll see. I mean, the match is still going on. And we have... Yeah, it's still going on, but and, still. And, and, we, we, just, uh, and we still have the yeah, X-Factor outside here. and Chris Klein. Especially taunting, like... I don't like Oh wow, another belly to belly throw there by John Pryor, your, your boy. What does he think, you know, when he was talking, what did he think this was? Yeah, yeah, well, Hector. Brandon Thomas was over there wasting time taunting. What did he think this was, Soul Train? <laughs> I don't know, but that show got canceled a few years ago. And now... Oh wow, another T bone yeah, well, suplex. And now the cover. I mean this has gotta be it and 
Referee, what are you doing? Again. Uh, he is busy filling with Chris Klein. Just eject him already. Let's get back to the match. And out. Irish whip. And out. What's... Oh, wait. Roll up. The cover. The cover. One. Two. And... And three. What the... Really? Raymond? Are Guess you, what? Are you, just what this man. Are you serious? I, I, I'm sorry. You, what an upset. I'm not, I'm not. What a speech. What an upset. Brandon Thomas is your new XGWL Pure Champion. Uh, uh, and uh, the first time he's won a title here in XGWL. I know you don't mean it, but I guess that was in my face, right? <laughs> yes, in your face. What do you, you guys say? Yeah. What's your point now? It was John Perry's own fault. How is it, how was it his fault? Well, his fault didn't have been out here. Oh wow! Yeah, right. Well, well, I, I gotta say it was a good match nonetheless. And we got to take a commercial break, and when we come back with some more XGWL action. Big match. That's right.